Oscar Carmona for Healing Grounds Certified Biodynamic Vegetable and Herb Nursery located in beautiful Santa Barbara, California. Today I'd like to talk to you about step-by-step -step instructions for you to develop your own home food production garden. I always like to start at the very end when I give my lectures and talks about how to create a wonderful opportun growing opportunity for food in your home. And that is at the dinner table. And I think that that's a good place for you to determine what, what, are your, what is your primary goal for having this garden. Think about what you like to eat, uh, consider the ingredients, and maybe it will be part of, a, of an overall uh, dish, such as an herb or just one of, the, one of the key ingredients. The next step is to consider your growing conditions, whether that's an apartment. Yes, an apartment can be a place where you grow food in a garden setting, but in this condition, you would have primarily containers. But if you have dirt or if you have garden or raised garden beds such as this, you can then start to look at the prevailing conditions that um, are that exist at your home and consider what kind of plants you grow you can grow there if it's a very shady place or there's a lot of trees well that's going to limit your your growing potential to leafy greens and certain other very hardy vegetables dandelions kales things like that but it certainly wouldn't be an appropriate place to plant um, watermelon or, or beefsteak tomatoes things that require a lot of heat and a lot of sun and so as you can see here i've got tomatoes and I've got late season squash planting here as well as a lot of leafy greens. So I've got full sun, I've got good temperature range that allows me to do that and I've considered that when planting. So sunlight hours and temperature range are really a key um, uh, ingredient for, the, for growing plants successfully. Another thing is to having a healthy soil medium and I'm a firm believer that you need to create as much biological life forms in the way of microorganisms especially in the soil and macroorganisms, worms, and other good beneficial insects that help create more fertility in the soil. You can create some of the best nutritious component of soil, which is organic matter, and it also provides a wonderful habitat for the necessary beneficial microorganisms that live there and interact with the plants and help make plants more resistant to disease and, more, and able to, to access more nutrients from the soil. After the soil, you need to consider watering. You have to have access to water, whether that's via a bucket or a, or a watering can or whether you have a garden spigot available. This is important to understand where your water source of water is gonna come from. Maybe you're collecting rainwater and using that. So um, your plants need water, um, and especially in a garden setting. This isn't about drought tolerance. This is about managing water in a good, con in a good way, and that's another um, benefit of having a lot of compost and mulch in your soil is, is water retention. So uh, um, intelligent watering is really uh, more the essence of what we're promoting here. It is, uh, we are using plants that require water. You have to consider not only a source of water, but a scheduling that makes sense based on the prevailing conditions. Proper spacing, make sure that the plants have enough space to grow in a healthy manner so that they're not crowding each other out, vying for nutrients, vying for airspace. These things are very important when you're talking about healthy plants. So proper spacing. And the fifth factor um, and the final part of it is understanding what a plant is going to grow into when it's mature. In other words, the size of space it's going to require to do to live and be comfortable, not have a lot of tight spaces where you're, you don't have very good air circulation. That creates habitats for, for disease. The other factor is over time, and I call that the fourth dimension, and that's uh, looking at the garden in terms of succession plantings, planting bigger things with enough space, but also in the meantime planting things that are going to be quicker uh, to maturity and easier to, 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 um, to harvest and take up l less space and will be out as other plants take over. I'm Oscar Carmona for Healy Ground Certified Biodynamic Urban Seedling Nursery. Happy gardening.